New at 9, he is charged with shooting his wife with their three-year-old daughter right in the next room. Now, he says he did not kill her, but some who knew the couple do not believe his story, which includes some pretty sordid details. Yeah, our Jenna Sachs is live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse right now with the latest in this uh, sad, sad case. Jenna. The victim was well known in Milwaukee poetry circles by her stage name, Anita B. Tonight, we're learning more about the case against her husband and what he's telling police happened the night she died. I don't see anyone that would want to cause harm to her. Homer Blow listens to his last radio interview with Milwaukee poet Anita B. We appreciate you, Anita B. Thanks for having me. Yes. During her visit, Anita B shared some of her new work. Now, just days after her death, her words take on new meaning. Whatever happened to our faith and true quest for love? Whatever happened to people like David in search for God's own heart? Anita B. was a stage name for Anita Brooks. The 27-year-old died Sunday after being shot in the head inside her apartment near 35th and Highland. Her husband, 28-year-old Keith Brooks, is now charged with first-degree intentional homicide. He did a horrific thing. He needs to own up to it. Uh, and, and stop making excuses. According to the criminal complaint, Keith Brooks says his wife shot herself during a fight, but the medical examiner has ruled Anita Brooks did not die from suicide, but from homicide. I think it's an insult to the family uh, and, and, and her friends to even make such accusations. The complaint says Keith Brooks told police he had been arguing with his wife for the last few days about her infidelity and how he believes that she had given him AIDS. Blow doesn't believe him. To try to make justification or make somebody perhaps feel his side or his point, um, I think it's nonsense. I think it's ridiculous. We gotta dig a little deeper, work harder, climb mountains that do more than look a little steeper and fear God, not the reaper for death. It's only the beginning. A fund for the couple's daughter has been set up at the Educators Credit Union under the name Anita Brooks. Her funeral is scheduled for Wednesday, and we'll have that information on our website, fox6now.com. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Jenna Sachs, Fox 6 News. Oh, your furnace is going to be working overtime tonight and tomorrow. Vince is coming up with this deep freeze forecast. Also, this heart-wrenching picture, a tiny elephant.